Doom Lot, Project 420 Hideout. Crushing his big fucking mouth. I guess I'm going to be the only one that says it. I'm glad Kush unlocked his blown state. He was looking kind of scruffy. Yes, Gigi, what will you do now that Weedlaw has unlocked his blown state? He's only half blown. What? What, what did, he, did he just say half? That is ridiculous. I could not even imagine. Since Kush can't keep his goddamn mouth shut, he's only made this worse for himself. This is nonsense. Have you even taught them how to fight someone that has an infinite power source? You said this was a test. Watch your tone with me, Sour Diesel. Kids were sent out there to do a job, and if they can't, I have second options, is that right? Yes. Good. Oh no, Gigi, I don't, I don't think he understood you. Give him the good old force choke again. But I choke you with my bare hands. Everyone is dismissed. Oh, right, uh, blunt face killer, you just follow Northern Lights. Bullshit. <laughs> Why stick him on me? Sour Diesel's the one that you're mad at. You talking back, Northern Lights. <laughs> Fuck it, you're right. I'll take the science experiment with me. Come on, you awful god-dreaded thing. All the Project 420 members had left, and White Widow had walked over to Gigi. So you've sent them to die. What does that mean for us? My love, if anything, I've sent them out there to get stronger. I told you that THC manipulation isn't just smoking the strain. You have to use your imagination in ways you've never done before. But in this case, if I lose my kids, I can make some more, right? <laughs> Isolated city, the lower floors of the marketplace building. Deathsicle OG looked everywhere for Dean, but couldn't find him. Luckily for Dean, he had a cloaking system that made it hard for THC manipulators to find him. Even for a THC manipulator like Deathsicle OG. I don't have time. To play your little ninja games. King, king, king. What is this? When the gas cleared from around Death Sickle OG, Dean stood in front of him. You know what it is. One of those, uh, what do your people call it? Smoke outs, bitch. Dean socked Death Sickle so hard that his jaw fell off. That's gross. Death Sickle OG leaped forward at Dean, making a huge mistake. Dean moved out the way, invading Death Sickle OG, and then came in with a combo of punches. Uh-uh, don't touch! Run to the throat! <laughs> a skeleton with a neck. Ironic. Can't hear what you're saying. Pick your jaw up, bozo. <laughs> I'm going to murder you. Essical <laughs> OG had took a hit of a blunt and then blew out a cloud of smoke. He then touched the smoke and started to form it into a huge scythe-like weapon. When he was done forming the weapon, he grabbed it, and it turned into a solid scythe. It will fall to the sickle scythe. Oh, gee willigers, God forbid there be a skeleton with a scythe. How cliche are you going to keep getting? I, uh, 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 I told Gigi to give me chains. Got that? Uh, I'm going to swast you. I'm going to chop that scythe in half and shove it down your throat. Just you wait. My eschatana is... Mm. My... What? Seriously, did you... Did you just run out of power? I'm going to fuck you up. So what you mean is you are afraid before I lost my powers, but now... You have full confidence, yeah. I'm going to trash you. Think I trained to be an SDU soldier to let some serum determine if I win a match or not? I'm crazy without that shit. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dar Universe, and thank you for watching another episode of Wheatlow, the man with the infinite blunt. Join us next time where we're going to get back to the resin and the THC misfits.